History remembers the glory, but forgets the sacrifice. History remembers the stars, but forgets the auditions. History remembers those who stand in the light, but forgets those who work in the darkness. How will history remember you? Before I begin, I would like to thank my sponsors. I would like to thank Cyrus, Taker, Yanti and Coffee, Foxer Talent, and on a personal note, I would like to thank Rami, Abbas, Charles Ruffalo, the Network King, our creative director, Salar Azimi. Where are you? Please stand up. Yeah, yeah. And I would also personally like to thank Stedman Graham. Good evening. My name is Jan Willem Breure. I am the founder and director of the Septimius Awards. I was born in Rwanda, then I moved to Kenya, then I moved to Namibia, and at age 13, I moved to this very country, the Netherlands. One thing I noticed about the Netherlands is the Dutch like normal people. They love normal people. If you're a plumber or, I don't know, a dishwasher, if you fit in, they love you. But as you can probably see, I didn't really fit in. <laughs> yeah. But in the beginning, they told me, just act normal. Just be normal. Just be like everyone else. And everything will work out for you. That works for most industries and most jobs. But there is one industry where being normal is not beneficial. Do you know what that industry is? The creative industry. And as I look around this room, I see creatives. Creatives in film, in television, in music videos. You guys and I, we are the others, the different ones, the ones who are able to entertain and the ones who are able to create. And my message to you is embrace your creativity, embrace your difference, because that makes you special. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Septimius Awards. Thank you all for coming to the Septimius Awards 2024. My name is Evelyn Chanel. And I'm Yasmin Bahar. And together we will be your hosts for this beautiful evening. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> now, in the heart of every actor and filmmaker lies a dream. A burning passion to tell stories that resonate with the soul. But the journey is arduous paved with countless auditions, rejections, and late, late nights perfecting the craft. Yet, it is in these moments of struggle that true artistry is forged. And, as we all know, every no is a step closer to that one yes that changes everything. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Let's get this show on the road. We will announce the nominees for Best European Actress. They have given performances so moving that they can probably make a statue cry. <laughs> From intense dramas to uproarious comedies, they've really shown us what it means to master the craft. 
And tonight's winner is so talented that even her character's emotional breakdowns have single-handedly increased the tissue sale across Europe. Well, ain't that something? Ladies and gentlemen, here were the nominees for Best European Actress. Cristiana Delanna, Cabrini. Anna Maria Marinka, Housekeeping for Beginners. Paulina Chapko, Pilecki's Report. Luna Pilic, The Holy Family. Maria Protopapa, Murderess. Jana Bielica, Where the Road Leads. Annabella Moreira, Bad Living. Verla De Heger, When the Party is Over. The winner of Best European Actress is Christiana Del Anna. Come here. <laughs> Thank you so much. What an honor to be up here. Um, it's been such a long journey since the day we start filming to today, and it's still going on, and I, keep it, I, I hope it keeps going on, because the message of this amazing woman that I had the honor to portray is very close to my heart. She was the patron of all immigrants in the world, and, and, and I, I think it inspires us all, especially tonight. Um, it reflects the spirits the spirit of these awards. So thank you, thank you so much. It means the world to me. Thank you. All right, let's talk about the best European actor. These guys are so talented. They can cry in six different languages simultaneously. I went to see a French film last week and I was like, I don't know what he said, but damn, I felt it. They've got that certain je ne sais quoi, which I think translates to Hollywood, step up your game. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for Best European Actor. Serial Goods, Loverboy, Emotions Off. Billy Hull, Kid Snow. Tomasz Vlosok, Green Border. Francesco Turbanti. Joachim and the Apocalypse. Jalal Alta Will, Green Border. Miklos H. Vexe, Semmelweis. Milos Petrovich Trojpek, Indigo Crystal. Przemyslav Wyszynski, Pileski's Report. And the winner for Best European Actor is Cyril Goetz. Um, so give me his awards. Thank you. What a lovely evening. I, uh, I made this story. I directed it. I wrote it. And I want to say to everyone, if you ever heard no, that means like rejection is redirection. I heard no a couple of times, like seven years ago. And everything will take place at the right time. Next week is the premiere of this movie, Loverboy and uh, Emotions of... <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. The last thing I want to say, this, this film is about human trafficking. I want us all to more talk about this because it still happens in the Netherlands, in, in whatever, where, wherever. So thank you, and I'm going to party. Thank you.
All right. And now for Best American Actress. Ooh. These nominees have played everything, from superheroes to supermoms, leaving us all convinced that they could do both at the same time. And their performances have us laughing and crying and sometimes even both within the same scene, I think. Tonight's winner is so compelling that she could easily turn a grocery list into a dramatic monologue. Are you ready? Here are the nominees. Jasmine Martins Mendes, Silencio. Taina Müller, Good Morning Veronica. Fiona Palomo, Bad Actor. Monica Huarte, Like or Die, Señora Influencer. Carolina Miranda, Fake Profile. Giovanna Lancelotti, Burning Betrayal. Margarita Rosa de Francisco, El Paraíso. Nika King, Sound of Hope, A Story of Possum Trout. Ooh, that's a tough one, I guess. So here is the winner for Best American Actress. Can I get a drum roll? <laughs> Nika King! Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say all praise to the Most High God. Um, yesterday was my birthday, so what? Woo! This is an amazing birthday that I will never forget. Um, shout out to the Septimius Awards. Thank you for doing amazing work by bringing all these wonderful, colorful people in one room. I think this is what the world needs. We need to see more of this. Shout out to Peace Tree Productions, Joshua and Rebecca. Oh my gosh, these people put their life on the line for this film. Seven years, they moved to a small town in East Texas called Possum Trot, and they convinced a family to make this movie, and it was not easy. Um, I play First Lady Donna Martin. Um, she heard the call of God to go and adopt 77 kids from the foster care system, and this family was struggling, didn't have money, and they just followed God. The, the spirit of Christ led them to change kids' lives forever. Um, shout out to Care Portal, who funded the film, which is a nonprofit. They do amazing work um, in Haiti, in India, um, in Africa. And shout out to my mama. Um, I don't know if she's gonna see this, but mama, I love you. <laughs> Thanks for holding it down. She was also um, in the foster care system, and this was her story, full circle moment. My mom struggled with addiction. She's been clean for over 25 years. So this is definitely for my mom. I'm waiting for the music. I'm waiting for the music, because I want to praise dance. Where the music at? Where the music at? You said a minute and a half, where I'm at? A minute and 16, where we at? Where we at? <laughs> Woo! Oh. <laughs> And um, I want to thank uh, Angel Studios. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. Listen, I was on a nine-hour flight here. I'm gonna take that minute and a half, okay? <laughs> Shout out to all the nominees. Thank you so much for having me. God bless, and just keep the spirit of Christ in your heart. Good night. Thank you, them. Let's hear it for the best American actor. These guys have saved the world more times than the Fast and the Furious crew have driven through skyscrapers. Presidents, superheroes, the occasional washed up detective, they can do it all. Just give them a cape, a badge, or just a chance, and they will turn it into gold. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for Best American Actor. Sergio Armasgon, Chabuca. Joaquin Furiel, 
rest in peace. Patricio Arellano, since the last time we met. Nicolas Contreras, baby bandito. Shadow C. Lavallee, the can. Joseph Cernio, loved. Finn Haney, what we find on the road. Demetrius Gross, Sound of Hope, the story of Possum Trot. And the winner for Best American Actor is Demetrius Gross. What a wonderful event this is. Uh, thank you to Jan Willem and the um, Septimius Awards Committee. I want to thank um, Angel Studios. I want to thank Peace Tree Productions, Joshua and Rebecca Weigel, uh, my co-star Nika King, and uh, the wonderful cast and the wonderful people of Possum Trot. This story changed my life. If you can hear my nervousness in my voice, it is because I am nervous. I didn't know I was going to win. You never know you're going to win. But this is amazing. I want to give a special shout out to Cuba Gooding Jr. Let me give a little excitement moment. Yes, I won! Yes, we won! I can't top what you did at the Academy Awards, wherever you are, Cuba. It was nice to meet you. Um, I really want to uh, dedicate this award, though, to my mom, uh, staff assistant in a law firm for all of my life, uh, has always encouraged me to continue to fail forward, to rise up. Uh, to keep God first, and uh, that is the legacy of this film. Uh, Bishop W.C. Martin and Donna Martin led a powerful movement that is starting to permeate throughout the world. Uh, they took 22 families in a small um, church community in Possum Trot, Texas, and they adopted 77 of the hardest to place uh, orphans in the foster care system with limited resources. That story can inspire us all to take what we have and, and do the impossible through determined love and faith. I want to thank you all uh, for this award. Thank you, Septimius Awards, and uh, God bless you. Good night. And now for the best Asian actress category. Well, these women are so incredible that they can even make a simple noodle serving scene feel like an epic drama. And these talents, they stretch from Bollywood dance numbers to K-drama tearjerkers. And they'll have you laughing and crying and like, questioning your life choices, all in the span of a two-hour film. Now, ain't that some next level stuff? Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for Best Asian Actress. Ki Fong, Little People, Big Era. Kaedi Suresh, Dasara. Raymond Amselem, Seven Blessings. Elham Ali, Heart Crime. Melis Cezanne, Guljamal. Marietta Subong, Pokwang. Becky and Badette. Karishma Tanna, Scoop. Arushi Sharma, Kaala Paani. Yeah! And the winner for Best Asian Actress is... Ella Mali! Oh my 
God, did you hear my heart? I'm nervous a little bit, but uh, oh my God, I win. <laughs> I cannot believe I win. <laughs> oh my God. I cannot find any words to describe my feeling now. Just I feel I'm so, so, so happy. Of course, I want to say thank you to Septimus Award. Thank you, Mr. Dem. And of course, I want to say thank you to my lovely country, Saudi Arabia. <laughs> thank you, my family, my husband. His name Khalid, by the way, and I miss him so much. <laughs> my fans, and I hope to see you every year here. Thank you so much. Now, the nominees for Best Asian Actor have left audiences around the world in awe, mastering roles that demand both physical prowess and deep emotional resonance. They fought dragons, conquered empires, and still made it home in time for dinner. Tonight's winner could probably solve a Rubik's Cube while delivering a Shakespearean soliloquy. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for Best Asian Actor. Carmel Sheikh, The Investigator. Man of M, Better Tomorrow. Danny Ahn, Chowbak, The Night of Murder and Romance. Mohammed Zishan Ayub, Scoop. Harman Baweja, Scoop. Mikoy Morales, Tether. Aziz Buhais, Sugar. Bara Alem, Hao Jen. So, the confirmed winner is Mohammed Zishan Ayub. Unfortunately, Mohammed Zishan is not present now due to personal reasons, so we will move on to the next category. Now, these queens, they radiate power, the emotion, and the sheer talent. It's like watching a lioness rule her pride, you know? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> and they don't just act, no. They, I think they command the screen. Don't you think? Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for Best African Actress, and I hope that she's here. Nkobil Kumalo, Red Ink. Osas Igodaro, Love, Lust, and Other Things. Uche Montana, 0703, 7th of the 3rd. Mena Shalabi, Tahir Gao. Fatma Nasser, Jalal Din. Nomza Mumbatha, Shaka Ilem. Nancy Isima, Saving Onome. And Lembali Mlochwa, Home Wrecker. And now, the winner of Best African Actress is. Nomzama Mbata! She's here! Sorry, the producer in me is like the mic is in my face lowered. <laughs> Good evening.
evening, everyone. Uh, I never win anything, so this is very bizarre for me. But I'm going to try and be very gracious in this moment. I want to say thank you to the Septimius Awards. Thank you so much to the jury. Thank you for recognizing me. Um, I think these awards are really important because they just encompass every single continent that exists. So many of us feel like the work that we do just disappears in the abyss. But here we are standing on the stage under these bright lights and saying thank you. Thank you for watching, thank you for recognizing, thank you for encouraging us when it gets weary on this road. I want to thank Bomb Productions, Desiree Makhraf, Angus Gibson, the entire 200 man and woman crew that, put, that were put together to really showcase what uh, is so important to us, which is a show that means so much to the history of South Africa and the history of the African continent. I'm here with my two queens right there who are nominated in costume design, such an underserved and under appreciated department and hair and makeup so I love them so much I've been their chaperone on this trip but I just want to say to every single creator in this room keep on creating keep on doing it we're creating family time we're creating love time and we're creating history shout out to multi-choice thanks for the money so that we can make the show and the cast and crew of Shaga Ilembe thank you <laughs> and moving on to the best African actor. These gentlemen are so smooth, they could sell sand in the Sahara. From playing kings to revolutionaries, they bring a depth that is as rich as the continent itself. They've got that gravitas that makes you sit up and pay attention. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for Best African Actor. Gideon Okeke, Tokunbo. Blossom Chukwujekwu, 0703, 7th of the 3rd. Uzor Arukwe, a tribe called Judah. Yakubu Mohammed, Kaka. Lemogang Tsipa, Shaka Ilembe. Eyad Nasar, Selat Rahim. Motine Mazi, Mal Aldonia. Ramsey Noah, Love, Lust, and Other Things. And the winner for Best African Actor is Gideon Okeke. My name is Osasi Gadaro. I was nominated in Best African Actress, but, <laughs> but I am going to accept this award on behalf of Gideon Okeke. He is an amazing actor. He did amazing in Tokumbo that just premiered in Nigeria, representing Nigeria and Africa, you know? Um, and it's a special moment because Gideon was one of the speaking voices to help me get back to Nigeria to work. So God bless the creatives. God bless Septimius Awards. I was nominated twice, but we're going to keep on going. <laughs> God bless you guys. And now for Best Oceanian Actress. Well, these ladies are so fierce that they even make the outback look like a walk in the park. And whether they are wrestling crocodiles or breaking hearts, they do it with such a flair that is all their own. Ladies and gentlemen, the nominees for Best Oceanian Actress. Layla McDougall, Just a Farmer. Jackie Marshall, Three Chords and the Truth. Olivia Fieldes, How Deep is the Ocean? Freya Tingley, Time Addicts, Emma Monk, Let's Go Below the Rainbow, 
Philly de Murphy, let's go below the rainbow. Car in Fairfax, what about Sal? Tioriori Gatai Melbourne, the convert. And the winner for best Oceanian actress is Lila McDougall. <laughs> wow, um, I don't really know what to say, I wasn't expecting this. Um, this is my first ever film, first ever attempt in the film industry. I'm a farmer, my husband's a farmer, and we made this film because we want to shine a light on the sacrifices that farmers make every day to ensure that people in this room and all over the world survive. Um, uh, my husband dedicates his life to his stock, his animals, and my children. My husband is sixth generation farmer in Australia. Um, and a farmer in Australia takes their life every 10 days, and this is a global issue. Farmers all over the world are taking their lives, and it's up to us as consumers to make sure that we support our farmers, that we stand by them, because if we don't have them, we don't have food. It's that simple. So if I can ask everyone tonight to just support their local farmers, make sure that you go home and you appreciate them. <laughs> And, and I'd like to dedicate this award to every person or every farmer in the world and every person that has been left behind after suicide. Thank you. And finally, the nominees for Best Oceanian Actor have left us stunned with performances that are both as rugged and dynamic as the landscapes they come from. Whether they're catching waves or fighting off dangerous creatures, they can do it all. Tonight's winner has such presence, he could make a rock give a standing ovation. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for Best Oceanian Actor. Alan King, Vincent. Daniel Monks, in the room where he waits. Jeremy Levi, thorns and thistles at the end of the world. Mason Frost, sexagenarian. Julian Garner, the big dog. John Jarrett, what about Sal? Gerard O'Dwyer, what about Sal? Charles Grounds, Time Addicts. And the winner for Best Oceanian Actor is John Jarrett. Thank you, Septimius Awards, for uh, recognising such an important film. What about Sal? <laughs> is a story of a man called Sal who has Down syndrome. <clears throat> um, I, I'm very humbled and very pleased that uh, I've been voted Best Actor. I think I deserved it. I think my performance is good. But, but, this guy, his performance is extraordinary. He is to become Down Syndrome's rock star. 
He held this film. He is brilliant. Uh, and I, I couldn't have done this without him. I've worked, I've been in this business since Picnic at Hanging Rock in 1974. I've worked with a lot of very good directors. I've worked with a lot of very good actors. And this guy is among them. Not best Down syndrome actor. This guy is a tremendous actor. And he is telling you the importance of Down syndrome people on the planet. They deserve a place just like every single one of you. Say something. Okay. Wow. Oh. Don't say your speech, because. Oh, okay. okay. Wow. Just say thank you. Okay. Okay. Well. Well, uh, first of all, I thank you for coming. Um, my name is Gerald Dwyer. I'm an actor. Um, I just want to say um, a big thank you to my mother for my upbringing with her love and support she has given me over the years. Um, I know John Jared is a good friend of mine and I helped to go write the film with John. Um, without making this film and without working with John, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for John Jarrett. Six months at my house and six months at his house. Thank you very much. Wow. about best European film. You know Europe, right? The place with all the fancy art and the even fancier accents. Well, these films are so deep that they make my therapy sessions look like a sitcom. And they don't just want to entertain, you know. No, they want to make you rethink your whole existence. And meanwhile, I am just trying to figure out what the heck I'm reading with all these subtitles. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees in the category Best European Film. Whenever I'm alone with you, Guillaume Campanacci and Vesper Egon. Behind the haystacks, Asimina Proedro and Marcus Halberschmidt. Cuckoo, Tilman Singer and Marcus Halberschmidt. Housekeeping for Beginners. Goran Stolevsky. Loverboy. Emotions Off. Serial Goods. Green Border. Agnieszka Holland and Marcin Wieszkoslawski. El Paraíso. Enrico Maria Artale. Murderess. Eva Natena. And the winners for European film is Housekeeping for Beginners. for me. This is for Goran Stolevsky, who wrote and directed this movie. I'm just an actress, and uh, I'm here to thank you for watching our movie and to say that what is done with love is done well. Thank you very much. I'm very moved and humbled to be here amongst you, and um, have a great evening. Thank you. Now we're on to Best American Film. Here it's all about big budgets, bigger explosions, and even bigger egos. 
if you've ever wondered what happens when a film budget is larger than the GDP of a small country, well, wonder no more. Thanks, America, for giving us all the action we didn't know we needed and the superhero spandex we're still trying to forget. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for Best American Film. Nina, Abdul Reza Kahani, The Delinquents, Rodrigo Moreno, Ezekiel Borovinsky, Cabrini, Alejandro Monteverde, Killers of the Flower Moon, Martin Scorsese, Dan Friedkin, and Che Kammer. Sound of Hope, the story of Possum Trot, Joshua Weigel, What We Find on the Road, Chase and Beecham, Like or Die, Senora Influenza, Carlos Santos, The Hijacking of Flight 375, Marcus Baldini. And the winner for the category Best American Film is Cabrini. Gosh, it's so hard to get up those stairs. Um, well, well, obviously I'm receiving this on behalf of the people that have made this movie, and I need to thank uh, the Supreme of Words for this on their behalf, in the persons of Alejandro Monteverde, uh, Eustace Wolfington, who wanted this movie so badly, and I have to thank him very much, so thanks for the second opportunity to stand up here, and um, uh, Jonathan Sanger. Um, Filmmaking is teamwork, and without the effort, the combined effort of everybody, this wouldn't be possible. So thank you so much. I'm, I'm sure they'll be thrilled to know that they won this. Um, I'm, I'm going to speak to you, Alejandro, right now. So thank you so, so, so much. Why do some people stop watching American films and switch to Asian cinema? Well, I recently found out that the most popular girl in America isn't a Hollywood star, but a hawk to a girl. Exactly. <laughs> well, here's to Asia and to Asian films for keeping it classy. My done. Amit Ravindranath Sharma. A Poem in Love. Jiang Qinmin. X Kills Me. Ding Zijun. The Ferris Wheel in Memory. Ujjali. Three of Us. Avinash Arun. Inshallah A Boy. Amjad Al Rashid. Seven Blessings, Ayelet Menihemi. Chabak, The Night of Murder and Romance, William Inhyuk Hyung. And the winner for Best Asian Film is... Maidan! I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> I took a flight uh, from India, and uh, the connecting flight got missed. And I was just thinking that, you know, why the hell I was coming over here? Took a 14-hour, 15-hour long flight, but I think it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Septimius Award, for awarding this film. I took about five and a half years to make this film. I started this film uh, before pandemic, and then went through the whole pandemic, and we 
finish the film and I can't believe I'm standing over here and talking to you guys. <laughs> so uh, it released this year and so I'm really, really happy. I'm thankful to my mom, my dad, my son, my two partners, Heman and Alia, and uh, the producer of the film, Boni Kapoor, Joy and Akash, and the actors in the film, uh, Ajay Devgan, Gajraj Rao, Priyamani. I think uh, everybody has given their life in making this film. And two of my uh, you know, strong arms, Aman and Atul, and Mr. A.R. Rahman, who did the music. So I'm sorry if I've forgotten forgetting any name uh, right now, but I'm just getting a little emotional. <laughs> so, so thank you. Thank you, everybody, and it's unbelievable. Thank you. All right. Next up, Best African Film. Africa brings a story so vibrant, they can make the sun jealous. From epic dramas to comedies that make us laugh so hard we cry, these films are a celebration of life and culture. Seriously, if they were any more inspiring, we would all need a motivational speech just to get out of bed. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for Best African Film. Mvera, Daudi Anguka. Omen Augure, Baloji. Ora, Lonzo Nzekwe. Runs in the Family, Ian Gabriel. Death of a Whistleblower, Ian Gabriel. Hans Steig, Die Rubicon Uhr. Korne van Royen and Tasha van der Westhuizen. Voy, voy, voy. Omar Hilal and Mohamed Hefsi. Flight 404, Hani Khalifa and Mohammed Hefzi. And the winner for Best African Film is Omen. Um, I'm Sander Verdonk, I'm just a co-producer, but I can bike here, so sorry about the guys for 40 hours, 48 or 14 hour flights, but thank you very much, thank you Septimus Awards, thank you, congratulations to all the nominees, thank you on behalf of Balogi, this amazing writer-director, who his first film went everywhere and now is celebrating this, and also thank you on behalf of the main producer Benoit Roland. Uh, seven films we did together already, so I'm very happy to take this one for you. I will bring it home. Thank you. Best Oceanian Film. That's right, we're talking about the land down under. And admit it, those tiny islands you actually never knew existed? These are like American films, but with more kangaroos and less blowing up stuff? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for Best Oceanian Film. The Moon is Upside Down, Lauren Taylor. Uproar, Paul Middleditch and Hamish Bennett. The Appleton Ladies Potato Race, Lynn Hegarty, Greg Quayle and Lisbeth Kennelly. Before Dawn, Jordan Prince Wright. Just a Farmer, Simon Linden. Kid Snow, Paul Goldman. The Convert, Lee Tamahori. Thorns and Thistles at the End of the World, Aaron Camp. And the winner of Best Oceanian Film is. Uproar!
Um, thank you first to the uh, Stimulus Awards. Um, I also f first want to say um, thank you to um, the inspiration of this piece based on my childhood growing up in New Zealand and an extremely difficult time where New Zealand was finding its own voice. And this is a story about a boy who finds his own voice during uh, uh, an amazing moment where New Zealand said no to an apartheid Springbok tour in New Zealand. And it changed the country forever. And we use that as a foundation for a young boy trying to find a voice and trying to change his life as well. So thank you very, very much. Also, um, a huge thank you to Hamish Bennett, who um, was my co-director, uh, to Sonia Whiteman, who is the writer from the film, who did a beautiful, beautiful screenplay and worked for many years with Hamish as well. Yes, of course. She's also kind of amazing because she's my wife as well. <laughs> thank you. It's so lovely to be here. It's such a great city. Um, I also want to thank um, Emma Slade, Angela Cudd and Sandra Kailahi um, from New Zealand, amazing producers of the film, the New Zealand Film Commission, um, Blue Fox and Kismet who released the film and thanks all. This is very exciting. Yeah. And one thing also, which is a great thing, is the wonderful cast. Julian Dennison performs probably, I think, his greatest performance so far as the lead in, in the picture, and also Minnie Driver and Reese Darby as well. So thank you all. This is an incredible moment. And Erin James. And Erin <laughs> James. So thank you so much. It's been wonderful. Thank you again. Now, best short documentary. Short and sweet, just like a Tinder date gone right. These docs get straight to the point. No fluff, just facts. And they manage to give a whole lot of insight in under 20 minutes. Perfect for when you want to look smart, but have a short attention span. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for best short documentary. Beauty for Ashes, Federico Ancilayan and Kobili Kumalo. Help me help you, Stephanie Sasson. This is life, Hongson and Linshu. Wednesday in Camp Rohingya, Syed Jazi Bali. Narrow path to happiness, Kata Ola. Culture versus war, Libero, Kadim Tarasov and Alina Krasnianska. Finding Enoch, coping with our colonial past, Dorna Chandre van Ruva, van Niwa. Alexander, Ardit Sadiku. And the winner for best short documentary is Narrow Path to Happiness. Well, I, I, I really didn't prepare myself. I was sure I will not receive anything, so thank you so much. Uh, I need to say one word about my film. It's a film about two boys, two Romani gypsy boys, that um, they fell in love. They, are, they love each other, and it's their story, and we followed them for five years. Thanks God we didn't get any money from the Hungarian government, of course. Uh, so we were very free to make this film. And thanks God I keep at home uh, a great cinematographer as a husband. So just the two of us, with the help of our children, we could make this film. And uh, I'm just so surprised. They will be so happy. The boys will be so happy that it, this, I mean, they are recognized, you know, because in the Roma, in the gypsy community to, you know, it is, thank you so much. Thank you. 
longer than your average Netflix binge, and probably a little bit more exciting than your last family dinner, the best feature documentary had us hooked from start to finish. And it's like reading a novel, but with real-life drama, you know? The only thing missing, actually, was popcorn, but in the end, we felt like we had a full-course meal of knowledge. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for Best Feature Documentary. Grunt, Sean James Spencer. 20 Days in Mariupol, Mstislav Chernov. To Kill a Tiger, Nisha Pahuja and Andy Cohen. Who I Am Not, Tundes Kovran. Dario Argento, Panico, Simone Scafidi. Second round, Ikinchi Round, Burak Aksoy and Altuk Gultan. Food for Profit, Pablo D'Ambrosi and Giulia Innocenzi. Emma and Eddie, a working couple. Gabor Hersher. And the winner of Best Feature Documentary is... 20 Days in Mariupol! Woo! Thank you so much. It's a huge honor to stay on this stage today. And it's a huge honor to stay on this stage with this family. Uh, this is Anastasia, and she was pregnant with her son, Demir, who, uh, on the day when Russian bombed maternity hospital in Mariupol. Today, he is almost three years old, as war and uh, full-scale invasion is continuing. And now the Netherlands become like a temporary home for them, as Mariupol now is under occupation. I can't believe that I can stage on this, uh, that I can stay here today on the stage because war is going on right now. And I just came back, I came here from Ukraine, and tomorrow I will come back to continue reporting to tell these important stories. And thanks to you, thanks to films, we can tell these important stories. And these people have their voice. And if we will be united and continue doing our work, I think we could make this world better. Thank you so much. Hello, I am going to speak Ukrainian. Цей фільм був створений ризикуючи власним життям. Hi, I will uh, talk in Ukrainian. This film will um, uh, is exist because uh, we we could lose our lives all, all the time. Завдяки ньому ми бачимо всю правду, всі ці реалії. Thanks to this, we can see the reality and the truth. Це дуже важливо для України, це дуже важливо для Європи, і це дуже важливо для всього світу. It's really important to Ukraine and for the Europe and the whole world. Тож, низький уклін вам, Василіса, і всій вашій команді. Thanks to our team. Yeah, thank you so much. Moving on to best short film. These are like the espresso shot of cinema. They pack a punch, leave you buzzing, and are over before you even know what hit you. It's like they say, hey, let's tell a story and get out before anybody can ask for more. Perfect for if you have a busy schedule or a short attention span. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for best short film. Behind the line, 
Vinay M. Umapathy. The Handbag, Marion H. von Lovenstein. The Bridges We Cross, Iris van Dongen. On My Way, Sri Jan Pardell. Zodi, Hubrecht L. Bram. Superman Doesn't Steal, Tamika Lamison. Red, White and Blue, Nazrin Choudhury. Portrait, Kennedy Love Green. And the winner for Best Short Film is Superman Doesn't Steal. Wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm, I'm genuinely shocked. Um, thank you so much, Septimius Awards. Um, this is so special. This is my first time in the Netherlands, and I didn't even know that my m actor lived here. He's in Rotterdam. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, right? So it's super special to have him here, and I want you to say a few words about it. Uh, being in the film as well. Um, I just want to thank my cast and crew. I had the most amazing cast and crew. We shot during two strikes in, that were happening uh, in the States, so it made it really difficult, but it was a win-win because um, I was able to you know, bring work, and I was also able to get amazing talent that I might not have necessarily gotten if they weren't on strike. So um, I'm so, uh, my brother, I have to thank my brother. This was a very personal story, and um, it was about a core memory that happened to us when we were growing up during the 70s, during the Atlanta child murders. And so I'm super grateful to him for even allowing me to share this story. It was very cathartic for our family. And um, shout out to my producers, Chris Beal, uh, Carol Ann Shine, and Dominic De Leon, and to my amazing actors, Ellis uh, Hobbs, who's also in The Sound of Hope as well, and um, uh, Jordan McIntosh, and obviously, <laughs> Mustafa Shakur. Just say something, please, come on. <laughs> I'm really happy to be here, y'all. It's, it's, it's nice, thank, thank you. Yes. Talk. Of course. <laughs> but thank you. I'm so, um, I'm just overwhelmed and I'm truly grateful. So thank you so much. <laughs> Best series, everyone. These are like that one TV show that you binged so hard that you forgot what daylight looked like. You know what I'm talking about, right? Twilight, Gossip Girl, well, well. With episodes longer than a meeting at work, these series, they draw you in and they make you forget that you even have a life outside of the couch. And the plot twists are so wild that they can even become bedtime stories when they are soap operas. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for Best Series. Good morning, Veronica. Jose Enrique Fonseca and Rog de Souza. The Great, Tony McNamara, Doug Mankoff and Marian McGowan, Shaka Ilembe, Angus, Gibson and Pumelelo, Paul Grootboom and Desiree Markgraf. When the party is over, Joran Slights and Renate Raman, Karl Kut, Arunab Kumar and Sumit Saxena. A round of applause, Berkun Oya and Ali Farkonde, Kohra. Gunjit Chopra, Sudip Sharma, and Diggi Sisodia. Scoop, Hansal Mehta. And the winner for Best Series is... The Great! <laughs> Well, this is truly delightful, truly delightful. Um, thank you very much, the Septimius Awards. Um, this is a, 
was a great series to make. Um, it, was, it took a long time to come to fruition, um, but we had a really wonderful time in making it, and I think that's probably reflected on the screen. I would obviously like to thank my great colleague, Tony McNamara, um, and I'd like to thank our, obviously, Hulu, who helped us put it together, ABC Studios, oh, not ABC Studios, um, MRC <laughs> Studios, um, and all the cast and crew. We had a fantastic cast with Elle Fanning and Nicholas Holt, and we, I think that also is what you can see on the screen. So thank you very much. Thank you. We're continuing with best animation. That is one of my personal faves. This is where we get to see what happens when we mix imagination with more caffeine than a college student drinks during finals. And where the only limit is the animator's imagination. All right, and occasionally the budget for sequels. So here are the nominees for best animation. Abruptio, Evan Marlowe. Storm Crashers, Giants of La Mancha, Gonzalo Gutierrez, GG. Preoperational Model, Philip Ullman. Una Aventura Gigante, Eduardo Schult. Il Segreto di Liberato, Francesco Lettieri and Giorgio Testi. Letter from a Stranger, Shima Marcazzi Omidvar. Tender Metalheads, John, Tomas Monfort and Carlos Perez Reche. Sword and Sorrow, Merdad Mehrabi Gargari and Ahmad Rahmani. And the winner of Best Animation is... Abruptio! There they are. <laughs> Woohoo! Wow. Uh, thank you so much. We are actually the composers from Abruptio, so we're here um, on behalf of uh, director Evan Marlowe and uh, his wife, the producer Kerry Marlowe. And uh, they've written a little thank you for us to read on their behalf. Uh, Evan and Kerry would like to thank the Septimius Awards for nominating Abruptio for this award. It has been a movie that has been many years in the making. And can I just say as an aside that it's been eight years in the making that, this, that they, they lived and breathed this movie for eight years. And uh, we have such incredible respect for, their, for the love and determination that they showed in making Abruptio. Uh, we're glad that it's been recognized for its uniqueness and visual storytelling. We'd like to thank all the brilliant voice cast for lending their voices to these weird and wonderful puppets. Our puppeteer, Daniel Montooth, for going above and beyond on set each day. Our exec ex uh, executive producers, our production team, composers, and most of all, our kids who were born and have grown up around this movie. Thank you again for this award. Uh, and for those of you who haven't seen it, I think because we aren't the directors and producers, we can speak, speak we can step back and say that this is a film that is truly special that we're deeply proud to be part of. And I don't think it can be overstated uh, how much this, this strange and original and beautiful and horrifying film is a testament to their extraordinary determination and creativity as filmmakers. Uh, do you want to say a quick word? Yeah, and all those puppets were handcrafted. Uh, no AI, no CGI, or very a little bit of TGI. And yesterday, the panels were talking a lot about AI. And this film is a great example showing that AI can never replace handcrafted art. Thank you so much. Right, moving on to best experimental film. 
these are the films that you watch and you think to yourself, did I take something? So hats off to the avant-garde filmmakers who make us question reality and our own sanity. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for Best Experimental Film. A medal, Yang Junwoo. Mami Wata, CJ Fiery, Obasi. I am Makita, Andrew Dean Dudek. Petit Louis, Andre Bato. Time, Christina Hecker. The Café, Sarah Bolv. Cheer up, folks, Tang Jian. Little People, Big Era, Alan Zhang. And the winner for Best Experimental Film is... Mami Wata! Okay, so it seems that the nominee for Mami Wata is not present, so we will continue to the best, to the next category. All right, we will continue to best director. This is the captain of the ship and the maestro of madness, because they get all the glory, but also all the blame. And when a film's a hit, they are a genius. But when it flops, they're just an auteur. So here's to the directors for hurting cats and for turning chaos into cinema. Across in the desert, Hadzi Alexander Jurovic. Voy, voy, voy. Omar Hilal. Inshallah, a boy. Amjad Al Rashid. Omen, Augure, Baloji. Flight 404, Hani Khalifa. Seven Blessings, Ayelet Menahemi. Three of Us, Avinash Arun. Kachot, Samuel David John Baromeo. And the winner for Best Director is Aliyat Manachemi, Seven Blessing. Wow. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the Seven Blessings family of actresses and actors. I want you to know that we are still a family today, even after the film has finished. And uh, I want to thank my co-creators and partners, Elinor, Raymond, and Ronan, who are here tonight. This is yours, too. <laughs> Thank you, Jan Willem, and your team. You are so inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I wanted to tell you, um, Seven Blessings is, is an Israeli film. And as some of you may have noticed, uh, Israel is going through the worst year of its existence. Um, and it uh, seems like we, we live in strange and dangerous times where people... <laughs> where people feel they have to form an instant opinion about everything, and quick judgment is sometimes more 
more important than values of complexity and tolerance and knowledge. Judgment has become more important than knowledge, so self-education is more important. And I think we, we all, as filmmakers, have to try and change that. So it's a tough job, but we won't stop trying. Thank you. And now, moving on to the best producer. These are the folks who convince everyone that spending millions on a movie is a good idea. Hats off to the producers for being the ultimate smooth talkers and miracle workers of the industry, because they juggle egos, deadlines, and they still look calm while doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for Best Producer. Bittersweet Ballad, Jing Wang. The Legend of Number Nine, Shen Lin Yu. Inshallah Aboy, Yusuf Abed Al Nabi, Asil Abu Ayyash, and Rula Nasser. Omen, Augur, Benoit Roland. Voy Voy Voy, Omar Hilal, and Mohammed Hevzi. To Kill a Tiger, David Oppenheim, Nisha Pahuja, Cornelia Principe, and Andrew Cohen. Seven Blessings, Leon Adri, Moshe Adri, and Ronan Bental. Sound of Hope, The Story of Possum Trot, Joshua Weigel, and Rebecca Weigel. And the winner for the category Best Producer is To Kill a Tiger. Didn't expect that one. I just want to say thank you for the Septimius Awards because I think it's a very diversified crowd, a lot of talent, and I think the Oscars has a big game to play to catch up to the Septimius. So, and I, I appreciate everybody talking about the, you know, the uh, trafficking of people, the farmers, like that Australian lady farmer said, no food. The Australian lady farmer said, if you don't have food, nobody's going to eat, right? So you gotta have, you got to stand with the farmers. Our film is about standing with the women, because if you don't have women, you don't have babies, and nobody's going to eat the food. So, so, so this story is about one girl who dared to speak, and a father who listened, and then they fought against a, a village, they fought against a state and a country. And now I think they can bring the message to the world. <clears throat> so first of all, I want to say, Nisha, thank you. I love you. This is all you. And being that I'm a producer, I can't toot my own horn. So I'm going to say thank you to uh, Atul and both the Nitas, uh, Cornelia, Joshua, Dev, Mindy, Priyanka. And I think, uh, I think I said enough. So thank you. And this is Nisha, who's the greatest director in the world. And her husband, that side, the cinematography really broke ground between fiction and narrative. So I want to give him a shout out. He's nominated as well, but in case I don't get up here again. So thank you. Anyway. In our best cinematography, these are the folks that make us say, wow, that shot is gorgeous. They can make a dumpster look like a piece of art. And it's kind of like Instagram filters on steroids. So big ups to the cinematographers for showing us the world through their beautifully twisted lens. Inshallah a boy, Kaname Onoyama. Omen, Augur, Joachim Felipe. Voy, 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 Yves Sehnawi. Flight 404. Fawzi Darwish. Seven Blessings. Boas Yehonatan Yaakov. Three of Us. Avinash Arun. Moisture. Mustafa Barat and Jacques Chewiche. To Kill a Tiger. 
Marinal de Sai. And the winner for best cinematography is. Boy, boy, boy! Um, uh, thank you very much. I'm accepting this on behalf of Eve. He's not here today. Um, thank you, Septimius Awards. It's a pleasure to be here. It's an important film that we've made. Uh, I think so. Uh, about 13 people that pretended to be blind just to get out of their country. Um, true story. And uh, yeah, I just want to thank my producer. I'm the director. I'm Omar. And this is Mohammed Hafzi, the producer of the film. Thank you, Mohammed, for trusting, uh, you know, and making this it's my first film. And um, that's it. Mohammed, do you want to say something? <laughs> no, congratulations to Eve, and thank you, Septimius Awards, for this. Thank you so much. <laughs> Moving on to best screenplay. These are the unsung heroes who put the words into the actors' mouths. They create dialogue so good, we forget it's not even real. I mean... Without screenwriters, actors would just stand around looking pretty. Big props. <laughs> Big props to the screenwriters for giving us all the lines we wish we could say in real life. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for Best Screenplay. Housekeeping for Beginners. Goran Stolevsky. Omen, Augur, Baloji, and Thomas Van Zuylen. Inshallah, a boy. Delphine Agut, Rula Nasser Amjad Al Rashid. Closed gates. Narish Kumar Rajendran. Voy, voy, voy. Omar Hilal. Seven blessings. Raymond Amsalem and El Nasella. Three of us. Avanash Arun, Omkar Achub Bava, and Arpita Chatterjee. Sound of Hope, the story of Possum Trout, Joshua Weigel and Rebecca Weigel. And the winner for Best Screenplay is Inshallah, a boy. Oh, wow, that's heavy. Um, thank you so much for this honor. Um, uh, I'm so happy and glad to be here. Uh, I wrote this film with uh, Rula Nasser, my producer, and Delfina Gut, our co-writer. It took us almost six years to do this film, and now I'm here, and uh, I'm starting a new journey with a new film. This uh, suit was fit on me last year when I premiered Inshallah Boy in Cannes and now it's a little bit bigger because I'm back behind the desk writing my new film. <laughs> so. so I hope I hope I will be here again with my new film. Also I want to take a moment here to Think and pray for all those uh, victims for wars around the world, especially in my region, in Palestine, in Gaza. <laughs> my heart and my thoughts with all the mothers who lost their children, with all the children who lost their mothers. Gaza people now are facing hunger. They can't find water to drink, also being killed every day. So I hope this madness stops soon and see you another time with another film. Thank you. Let's hear it for best soundtrack. These are the musical scores that make us feel every emotion just a little bit more intensely. 
From heart-pounding action scenes to tear-jerking moments, these soundtracks are truly the unsung heroes behind the scenes, making sure that every scene is perfectly scored. Because let's face it, I mean, no one has ever hummed along to silence, right? <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Best Soundtrack nominees. Scary Girl, Ak Kinmonth, Little People, Big Era, Nanshu, Joachim and the Apocalypse, Michelle Josiah, To Kill a Tiger, Jonathan Goldsmith, Flight 404, Swad Bushnak, Voy Voy Voy, Sari Hani, Seven Blessings, Michael Legum, Three of us, Aloka Nanda Dasgupta. And the winner for best soundtrack is Little People, Big Era. <laughs> Someone's really happy. I'm sorry, I can't stronger speak English. Thank you to Juris. Uh, I'm from China. This is the first time for me to attend this film festival. My feeling is great. <laughs> thank you too much. Thank you. Thank you. You're up. <laughs> and now we're on to best music video where three minutes can be more iconic than a feature film. I mean, just take a look at Michael Jackson's Thriller. It's like a mini blockbuster with choreography so good it makes you want to moonwalk even if you have two left feet. So, here are the nominees for Best Music Video. Hold You Down, Dove, Jean-Charles Charavin. What's Poppin', Steph Don, featuring BNXN. Lux London, Heaven, Crux Musikia, Masha Shalagina, Mashi Hob, Mohammed Rifai, Ahmad Zarket, Miwegolata, Margaret, Michał Harmaciński, Maslahtak, Fahad Al Kubaisi, Ali Abu Taleb, Good Kinda Tired, Brooke Josephson, Michelle Bossi, Barbara Bandera, Caro, featuring Dillas. Ruben Dovale. And the winner for the category Best Music Video goes to Milego Lata. <laughs> um, so after two hours of this gala, you might know that we're really happy and we're so grateful and thankful. And yeah, let's party. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I never win anything, so I'm in very big shock. So thank you, everybody. <laughs> Content creators. I think they are the Spielbergs of Teka, and they turn everyday moments into viral sensations. Move over, Quentin Tarantino. The next masterpiece might be filmed on a smartphone in someone's basement. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for Best Content Creator. Anna Mati, Martijn van Hoek. Donalyn, Donalyn Bartolome. This should be banned. Marcus Graham. 
Nicole Arbor. Nicole Arbor. Detna High. Detna High. Box Talks TV. Evgeny Saroznai. Savages. Maud Asif, Ashish Bardwaj, Nadim, Arshad, Prince Kashif, and Shahrukh. Corporate. Bertrand Devey. And the winner for best content creator is. Savengers! Thank you so much, Septimius Awards. And thanks to Almighty Allah. MashaAllah, we won this award. And uh, one thing that I want to say. Hasti hai dunya hasane wala chahiye. Swagat hai aapka Savengers mein. Thank you. Moving on to best costume design. These are the folks who make sure that superheroes have capes and period dramas have corsets. Without them, Darth Vader would be just a guy with black pajamas. <laughs> so here's to the artists who dress our dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for best costume design. Before Dawn, Penny Mackey. Shaka Ilembe, Sasetu Mabi, Thulisilim Langini, and Innocentia Morman. Joachim and the Apocalypse, Daniela Gelsi. The Great, Sharon Long, Emma Fryer, and Holly Waddington. Killers of the Flower Moon, Jacqueline West. Mami Wata, Bunmi Adami Lola Fashina. Cabrini, Alicia Silverstein. The Convert, Liz McGregor. And the winner for the category, Best Costume Design, goes to Shaka Ilembe. ordinary story to tell. It was a story told by my grandfather at bedtime, a subject at school. It is an honor to have been part of the journey to take the audiences through time travel in our ancestors' world. Shaga Zulu's world through costume design. So I'd like to thank Septimus Awards organization, the sponsors, and their judges for recognizing our hard work, our labor of love, and our passion for telling our own stories in Africa. A special thank you to our production team, BOM, all the way out there in South Africa, producers, Desiree Makhraf, Nomza Mombata, uh, the Septimius Award winner, um, my creative producer, Angus Gibson, who trusted me with the vision and had faith in my instinct and skill in telling stories through costume. To the multi-choice group for investing in our history, and most of all, I'd like to say my awesome gratitude, um, my team, costume team, we did it. I cannot leave out my family, my mom, dad, husband, my kids, Guy and Mason, I love you. Um, so many hours spent out there in, in, in the dusty um, urban areas of um, Guazulu Natal and Joe Beck shooting this. My collaborator, hair and makeup, 
Queen, who's sitting over there, was also nominated. Hi. We created Hi. history. Hi. We made Hi. history, Hi. friend. Hi. Um, and production designer, D Dylan Lloyd. Thank you, Amsterdam. Thank you for this. Wow. Doesn't she look gorgeous? <laughs> All right, moving on to the best makeup and hairstyling. Where a little bit of powder and a lot of patience turns actors into aliens or elves or sometimes just better looking versions of themselves. And if you thought transforming Charlize Theron into Eileen Warnos in the film Monster was magic, well, it is because it is. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees for best makeup and hairstyling. Shaka Ilembe, Queen Motlatle and Fikile Nyembe. Before Dawn, Tanya Wanstall, Amy Danielli, Liz Gruska and Tanya Tiso. Joachim and the Apocalypse, Antonio Alterio, Massimiliano Bruno, Salvo Di Bella and Vittorio Sudano. The Great, Erina Yanyan, Sofia Criscuolo and Sofia Bowerman. X Kills Me, Chen Shi, Mami Wat, Michael Adewo, Campbell Precious, Areba Man, and Funke Olo, Cabrini, Francesca Buccellato, Katie Sharon, and Leah Raybuck, The Convert, Nikki Adlington, Pilar Alegre, and Claire Rutledge. And the winner of Best Makeup in Hairstyling is Before Dawn. Uh, I didn't prepare a speech because I didn't think we were going to get anything. Um, yeah, uh, first of all, thank you to the Septimius Awards. Uh, so I'm actually the director and producer. Uh, this is Brad, who's my executive producer. Um, I do want to make a massive shout out to uh, the makeup team, which I'll hand over to Brad in a minute. But uh, look, this entire film, you know, it was the largest independent feature film uh, in Australia. And what Septimius Awards is all about the underdog. And yeah, we tried and asked and asked and asked government for funding and we didn't really get any funding. And in the end, I went to sponsors and investors. And it's because of them that this film has been able to yeah, be produced. And uh, yeah, massive shout out uh, the Entire crew did an amazing job, but the makeup team, you know, those, those ladies were phenomenal with what they worked in. The coldest and wettest winter on record doing makeup was not an easy task. Thank you very much, Jordan. Jordan's done a, a, a great job in coordinating this team, but the credit for this award definitely goes to Liz and her team. Unfortunately, she's working 16 hour days in Canada at the moment and couldn't make it, but she, we have spoken to quite a bit of the last few days and she, definitely wants to recognise her whole team. So that is the, the Tanyas, um, Riley and Chelsea, who worked full time, um, very long hours, uh, doing over 300 hairs and, and makeups every day, um, and was also assisted by a head of security, of all people, who did, did some um, hair duties along the way, and also... The makeup truck. <laughs> and not to, not to forget the, uh, the makeup truck, which was constructed by Jordan's father. So uh, a lot of people to thank there. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now we go over to a very special category, the Lifetime Achievement Awards. Transforming actors into unforgettable characters. This costume designer's artistry has graced some of cinema's most iconic films. Her impeccable work in The Gladiator earned her an Oscar, with the legendary Roman garb becoming iconic. From the stylish 70s looks in American Gangster and House of Gucci starring Lady Gaga, to the exquisite period costumes in The Last Jewels and futuristic designs in The Martian, her designs have consistently elevated storytelling to new heights. Yet, her meticulous attention to detail and creative vision have left an indelible mark on the industry. 
it is time to recognize the incredible achievements of this brilliant lady. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to award the following lifetime achievement to Janty Yates. Wow. 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 Thank you, Jan William, and the Septimius Awards. I feel, <laughs> I feel so honored, so overwhelmed. Um, I'm in this enormous sea of talent, global talent, and I just feel so extremely, extremely humbled to be amongst you all. No, really. My life has been just, I'm a facilitator. I'm not a costume designer, really, I'm a facilitator. But life's rich pattern has taken me from, oh, 11, 1200 BC through to science fiction three times. <laughs> I've been so fortunate. I failed history O-level. And I've learned so much over the last 40 years. I've been very, very lucky. And thank you all so much. Thank you. Give her a big applause. Yanti Yates. Coaching some of the most celebrated actors of our time, he has transformed raw talent into stardom. Under his guidance, Monica Bellucci, Morena Tias, and Sienna Miller owned their craft and soared to new heights in their careers. Now, acting coaches often work in the shadows, and their work is often overlooked and unseen, yet their impact is profound. And his unique approach, blending method acting with innovative techniques, has revolutionized how actors connect to their roles. But his influence doesn't stop there. His own illustrious acting career with memorable performances in films and television underscores his deep understanding of the industry. His lifelong dedication to the performing arts has left an incredible mark, inspiring countless of actors and earning him immense respect. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to award the following lifetime achievement to Michael Margotta! <laughs> well, uh, that was a surprise, actually. <laughs> I have to thank the gentleman who just helped me up the stairs, a boss. Uh, not just for that, because he was the person that spoke to Jan Willem, and I want to thank Jan Willem for the honor. Okay. Yeah. Very interesting character. Uh, after seeing all the talent tonight, and after having taught, coached, acted from the Middle East to Turkey to Hungary to Germany, Switzerland, Spain, Austria, New York, LA, all over Italy, even in the jungle of Costa Rica. It's obvious that 
talent needs to be nurtured in every country of the world. And tonight is a good example because it's my belief that the artists are the ones who are making the world more beautiful. And without them, I think humanity would perish. So cherish your vision, cherish your ideal, dream lofty dreams. Thank you. Go ahead. As the driving force behind the AED group, he has revolutionized the film and television industry with his visionary leadership and innovation. Founding multiple state-of-the-art studios, he has provided filmmakers with the essential tools and environments to bring their stories to life. His studios have become creative hubs, fostering numerous acclaimed films and television series. Tim Roth, Nicole Kidman, Colin Firth, Leia Sedu, Zoe Saldana, Carice Van Houten, Lindsay Lohan, and James Franco have all been in his studios. Working tirelessly behind the scenes, his studios have been pivotal in shaping the industry. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to award the following lifetime achievement to Glenn Rochemann. Wow. <laughs> it's really heavy. Wow. <laughs> and again, wow. So the first wow is for the Septimus Award. Jan Willem, a round of applause. <laughs> the creator of this. And wow for a film industry. What an industry. An industry where I supplied already 39 years of equipment, lighting equipment, grip, studios, facilities, and a lot, a lot more. I own 17 companies. But I think I'm too young for this. <laughs> so, uh, but wow <laughs> to the magic that you are bringing to our wide screen. Wow to our industry. Wow to the people working this. The red line, and where I have a big connection with all of you, is the passion. Passion makes emotions. Emotions makes our movie industry. Wow, a round of applause to you. And I think now is the round where I say thank you. Thank you to my colleagues in all those companies. They sticked up with me for 39 years, some of them. <laughs> Thank you to my brothers from another mother to give me the air, to give me the enjoyment of life. Some of you are here. But I would like to give also a special thanks to my mother. She died 10 years ago, and she would be very proud of this because she had a love for our industry, a love for film, a love for television, and a love for artists. So to all the mothers, not only my mothers, to all the mothers, thanks to their hard work, letting us grow up to become a man or a woman that we are today, thanks to the mothers and the hard work of the fathers, 
also important, my father of three kids. So a big round of applause to the mothers, because the mothers, thanks to that, we are here. There's only one thing left. Let's build a future together of our industry. Thank you, Glenn Rogeman. With a career spanning decades, he has delivered some of the most iconic performances in cinema history. From the heartwarming Jerry Maguire, where his unforgettable scene won him an Oscar. I think we all know which scene we're talking about, right? Show me the money! <laughs> to powerful roles in Boys in the Hood, Radio, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, and of course, his unforgettable role alongside Robert De Niro in Men of Honor. His versatility and passion have captivated audiences worldwide. And remarkably, he is one of only six black people to have ever won an Academy Award. A testament to his groundbreaking achievements and the barriers he has shattered. His dedication to his craft and the impact he has on the film industry make him a true trailblazer. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my very honor to award the following lifetime achievement to Cuba Gooding Jr. Wow. Well, <laughs> wow. That's beautiful. This really is beautiful. Show me the money, you know. So, I'm, I, I still can't get over the fact that this is my first time in Amsterdam, and definitely not my last. I'll tell you that right now. My guy that runs my film company, Peter Timbeckis, is here in the audience. He's my Colonel Parker to my Elvis. He does everything in my life. And he said to me, listen, there's the Septimius Awards and they want to give you the Lifetime Achievement Awards. And I said, you know I'm too young for that, right? <laughs> and he said, yeah, but you got to meet this young brother. He reminds me of John Singleton. He's got the passion yeah. and I think he's got a city, a country behind him that want to show the world all of the rainbow of nationalities and religions and faiths and hopes and dreams. And this country is making cinema and television that is gonna compete on the world stage. I think you should take it. I said, okay, Pete, let's get a ticket, let's go. <laughs> so here I am accepting this award on behalf of a career that started as a break dancer behind Lionel Richie in the 1984 Olympics. Woo! <laughs> that went on to do a film called Boys in the Hood, and then the rest, the rest, I guess the rest is history, but I dedicate this award to my father, who passed away in 2018, the lead singer of a group called The Main Ingredient. And they did this song, everybody plays the fool sometimes. And I feel that way a lot, a lot. But it's a reminder that what God, when I pray every day to God, I say, thine will be done. And I feel that his will is being done because I feel like this city specifically is about to make its mark on the world stage. And I'm proud to be a part of it. Thank you. Give it up one more time for Cuba Gooding Jr. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have come to the end of the yes, ceremony. Yes, we have. Some have won and some have not. Nobody will leave empty handed. In fact, all nominees will receive official nomination certificates. These will be handed out in Hall 3. All winners are asked to take a group photo. And also, the director, Jan Willembreure, requests to take a picture with all the winners. 
TV interviews will be held on the red carpet. So let me repeat, all winners, please report to the photography area on the red carpet. If you cannot find it, all is well. Just report to one of our personnel and they will help you find it. We had a wonderful time being your hosts at the Septimius Awards and we'd like to thank you all for coming here. And all the guests, please, you are welcome to stay, enjoy a drink, network, you know, maybe magic can happen. That's why we're here tonight. So um, please do not forget to tag us on social media. Very important. I want to see those videos. I want to see those photos because, you know, we can retag and that's good for, uh, for everybody. So please give one last round of applause for my co-host, Yasmin Behar. Thank you. And please give a warm round of applause for Avalon Chanel. And before we go, please give it up. I really want to see all your hands clapping so hard for the director of the Septimius Awards, Jan Lembrera. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I want to thank you all for coming here today. Today has been a beautiful day. I actually cried four times. I don't know how many times you guys have cried. I want to say the Septimius Awards is about all of us coming here together. It's about forgetting the politics, forgetting the race, forgetting the gender. I saw indeed uh, that there were uh, beautiful speeches and powerful speeches. And I want people to remember that never judge a leader of its, uh, never judge the people of its country by the actions of their leader. And I want to thank my sponsors again, and I want to thank Salar Azimi. Yes. I mean, which, in which award ceremony can you have a Palestinian and an Israeli also win? Come on, people, people, right? Ladies and gentlemen, this was the Septimius Awards. Thank you. Thank you.